Uh, Henry Cavill, well known for his depictions of Geralt and Superman in Netflix's The Witcher and Snyder's DC movies, uh, took to Instagram to tease what his new project was going to be by showing a blurred script with indecipherable words. Uh, however, the outlet Game Pressure was able to use a program Focus Magic to <laughs> unmuddy the text to reveal words such as Cerberus, Reaper, Geth, and Talizora, which pretty irrevocably point towards Cavill's involvement in a Mass Effect project. Um, any this just kind of general thoughts? Uh, not a big fan of Mass Effect? Eh, I used to be. I'll play the remaster when it comes out eventually. I just I have kind of fallen out of love with it. Eh. I love those first three games. Is he going to be, like, be Shepard? Is that what we're getting? I think he would no, be a, I think he'd be be a good Shepard. <laughs> Garrus is a dinosaur. So you can still we can we can throw him in dinosaur <laughs> makeup. It'll be fine. Um, if we, if we I, can fuck the dinosaur, Henry Cavill can be the dinosaur. It's fine. He's gonna I, be Joker, and they're gonna recast Seth Green. <laughs> no, <laughs> make Seth Green Shepard. <laughs> yeah, um, man, I, I like Henry Cavill. I think he's he's gonna nail it. Um, like regardless of whatever role he's in, but I think the part that's most disappointing to me about this is, um. I've played the first three Mass Effect games. I don't want a retelling of the first three Mass Effect games. If it's not going to be like some weird side story involving that same crew, like adding to the world. Yeah, because like I like the I I like the key prom uh, not key promise the key premise behind Andromeda of just like let's take this universe and literally fuck off to another galaxy to do something interesting. And I think Andromeda failed for a multitude of reasons, but. I just don't want the exact same thing, but in a different medium. I, I think that's a very boring, boring thing that you can do with what's probably one of the most interesting universes that you've been able to p- been, that you've been able to play in a game. Andromeda agree. failed, but I want to give it credit for doing something, which was just like like you said, they fucked off to another galaxy. We could have stayed in that galaxy, and they could have like retconned the ending of Mass Effect Three, but they chose not to do that. Which I mean, I, I would I would give Andromeda a little bit of credit and be like, at least they like again they fucked off to another galaxy. They try to do something completely different with like completely different characters. Well, I think they oh. just wrote themselves in a really bad corner with the end of Mass Effect Three. Like like all those endings yeah, are pretty really similar with, with just like some minor, well minor um, changes as to, like how the solution gets gets solved, uh, the problem gets solved. But I feel like they just need to buckle down and say I I know. Everyone in the in the fan base is going to be pissy because like oh what about my authored freaking um my story like every little decision like I don't think people believe or I know Corey weren't you you and me were in a class where we had to make a narrative based little film right yeah um and even for like the limited skill that we were doing mm-hmm. like that entire web of narrative things and physically tying oh yeah like together, choose your choose your pathway or whatever yeah and it was an extremely complicated thing to do even if you're doing like nine little variables or whatever that like they culminate at the end yeah uh culminating these three things across three games were never going to be like the ultimate fucking payoff that all these freaking angry youtubers are, p- are pulling off it's just like it is what it is it is you, it like is the little very bar- difficult yeah, the, the bartender you talk to at the beginning of Mass Effect 1 isn't going to pop up and, like, be a soldier and he's going to, like, catch a grenade. It's like it's not going to be some stupid shit like that. Um, but I think, like, they what, what Bioware needs to do, if they're going to continue, or even or even this, this film, movie, uh, TV show, whatever they're going to do with this, I think the best thing they could do is just fucking buckle down, ignore the pissed off fans, and just pick one ending that's canon. And I think that's basically what they're doing for the new Mass Effect game anyway, where they, they've kind of said that the destroy ending is canon. And I know that's going to piss fans off, but I really don't fucking give a shit. Um, it, it's just going to help the series just kind of streamline itself versus just like, I don't know, there is this vague thing that happened in the past. Where we, we never really have any proper uh, resolution with it. I will right. say as someone with absolutely no stock in Mass Effect discourse whatsoever, um, I, while I agree that, you know, it's, yeah, it's kind of foolhardy to assume that every choice you made would actually make such a drastic, unique thing in a game. But at the same time, you can't really say that Bioware and Blizzard active or Bioware and uh, what EA were not at least partially responsible for that when so much of the marketing since Mass Effect 1 was like, have your own unique. It was the same thing that happened to the Walking Dead game 
like originally was that uh, the first season it was like so much of it was marketed as like every choice you make will change the story and you'll have your own unique story and anyone who played it realized no you all end up in pretty much the exact same place it's just the certain details surrounding it were different and the kind of person maybe that your character was were different which i don't know oh uh, buckets of gravy it's okay i got <laughs> i got a back it seems to me on <laughs> I love it that. seems to be just an even kind of responsibility thing i guess is how i feel i i feel like i just generally may, maybe even to like most people whatever i just don't give a shit about marketing like if something if the premise of something already interests me I, I i completely zone out on marketing i don't give a fucking shit about it i realize that's not how most people operate but i, I think, think people just probably need to like be more you're, pragmatic you're advertising your game to be a certain thing if it's not that thing people are going to get upset i don't think it deserves to be like a worse thing ever but still mm-hmm. the, the I, I just think a level of pragmatism ever. needs to needs to be at play mm. fair enough uh what about you sarah i mean so fair warning i loved mass effect two i liked three i never really got into one that's why this collection really excites me to know that they spent a lot of time getting one to be playable again so i'm actually really excited to finally sit down and play through one um i was one of the weird people who also liked andromeda so like hate me now it's okay just i'm gonna give you all five seconds to shoot the shit at me it's fine Like, I, I just, yeah, just go ahead, you know, in five seconds. No, it was okay. No, yeah, I mean, when, okay, so I, I'm i actually going to go on a record and say that I only ever played Mass Effect 3. Um, and then I and then I jumped into Andromeda, and I was actually very, very excited for Andromeda. So, and, so, so was I. And, 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 like, I actually pre, like, that was one of the first, that was, like, the first Mass Effect game I actually ever pre-ordered. And... Then like I was playing it and I was actually having a lot of fun with it. And then I was, I was like reading all the, all of the outrage and stuff on, on line. And I like some of my, I wouldn't call them friends of mine. They were friends of, a, of friends were giving me shit for even buying it. And like, Oh, you yeah. wasted, like, Oh, sorry. Uh, you wasted your money, you know? And like, they literally yeah. were calling me names and like give and like really giving me harsh shit. And I'm just like, and literally, I stopped playing Mass Effect Andromeda because of that. Finish like I li- Andromeda. Be- it's, because it's I... It's good. It's fun. I, I, I my like, favorite Mass Effect characters ever. I agree. I was having a blast with it. But I literally, I was so... Sh- I, I got so much hate for it. And I was shamed out of, in, out of into not playing it anymore. It's, and I felt so, like, I th- crummy. I think that's what it goes back to what you were talking about earlier. It's uh, if people are enjoying something, let them enjoy it. And like, yeah, and, like exactly. there's always a place for criticism. And, I, and trust me, there, there's a lot of shit you can criticize and drama for. I know I've been on the record for doing it uh, countless times, but it's, it's, it should never come at the cost of fucking shitting on people. Like even, even when we criticize a game or a movie, whatever, it is never to criticize the, the artist. It's to criticize the art. You should never criticize a person for either what 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 they enjoy or for for what they create. Like, like I would uh, love like I would love it if they um if, if after they come out with the Mass Effect 3 or Mass Effect 1 2 and 3 remaster, I would love it if they actually came out with like a next gen upgrade for Mass Effect Andromeda because I, I would play the shit out of out of that. I, yeah. I think if they're going to do that, they might as well because I feel like a lot of Andromeda's core issues, it's basically it just came out of the oven like a year or two too early. Like, it just needed more time and EA yeah, just, just like didn't give stick it, it back in the oven, give it a little bit more cooking. It's you know Andromeda. I think was Blaine give me one second. Andromeda. I think was one of the main one of the not really one of the first games, one of the main games to come out where you saw people shitting on other people who were enjoying it. I had a few friends shitting on me. They're, they're like, why are you still playing Andromeda? And I'm like, I'm sorry. Me and Liam's relationship is fucking great. And you can shut up. Like, yeah. was, yeah, I don't know why like, people. It was like one of those things where it's like, I, and I got very lucky. I had no glitches in my entire playthrough. I mean, I had times where my character looked like <laughs> moon, moonwalk. And I was like, I, okay, that's weird. But it had nothing like game breaking happen to me. I was I, loving the fuck out of Andromeda. And I, I had still a, knew. I had a glitch when it, it was a humorous one where you're only supposed to be able to like romance like one character at a time. Oh god, and you're I, able I, to romance I, multiple I, people. I was accidentally able to romance uh, whatever whatever the regular human female was. And, uh, the um, the and, elusive man's kid. 
Yes, and and PB, and so when it got to the That's cutscene where every where, where everyone's um sitting on the couch like like watching the movie for like they they glitched into one being that you're just like crossing over each other. I'm just like, oh my <laughs> god, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, it's like I feel like because again, shit on Andromeda for reasons to shit on it. One of my favorite parts of Andromeda was it was its writing, and just it was some of my favorite writings of of like party members in. Yeah, fight me on this opinion. It had some of my favorite party mem- members in the entire s- series. And I just wish more people gave that game a chance. And Corey, I'm so sorry that it's, that happened to you. It's like, I'm it's so like sorry three that you bucks nowadays anyway. Yeah. Also, yeah. if you fucking have <laughs> Game Pass, you get EA shit free too. You could just download it on your Series X and play it. I mean, I don't know why everyone's upset about it because it's not even the worst Mass Effect game. Yep. I actually, I still have yeah. it. On- <laughs> that, that'd be number one. I, I technically oh I, I bought it on my PlayStation 4, so technically it's still in my library. So I could just it's download still in it. Still mine too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry, uh, sorry, playing um, go. Um, Dom, do you do you have any thoughts on Mass Effect and uh, whatsoever? Oh, I think do we maybe. Dom? Oh, wait, no, maybe. no, I'm still here. I'm alive. Okay. Sorry, I was thinking. kind of distracted looking at something else. I won't bring it up for your sake, but uh. <laughs> 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 but, oh no. Uh, yeah, no. I again. That that's the end of that. <laughs> um, but as for Mass Effect, I remember how like much people cared about three when it came out. Um, I never played it. I watched some gameplay of it when I was over at a friend's house, but like, I've never touched it. I don't know who this shepherd is, but he sounds okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he sounds okay. He sounds like a cool dude or gal. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Plays Shepherd, great. If he plays that dinosaur, cool. Uh, I mean, <laughs> who knows? I think I, 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 I'm, I'm going to watch Dom, the film just because uh, I, I, in it. I think you actually have the best perspective out of this, yep. having not played Mass Effect. So, what it, is it, it? Does this adaptation does it draw you any closer to wanting to play the games, or do you feel like it's maybe easing you into the series whatsoever? That would depend on the film itself. Like, if you, if it is like you said, if it basically is like a retelling of the original trilogy, then that's all I need. I don't need to play the games. But if it like is a story within that universe and it gets me invested, then possibly, maybe I might get the game and possibly play it. Okay. I would. But who knows? I would. I still think Mass Effect two and three are the best, or some of the best games ever made. I probably, <laughs> I probably still prefer two, even though if it's a little bit rougher around the edges but um and you said actually like that a, might even be ironed out with the with the legendary edition you said it's like a multiple choice type of game just imagine you are essentially space wizards with Ooh. guns i mean it's, it's, <laughs> oh, I'm in. It, it's you can sleep with aliens it's yes. star trek you go around <laughs> shooting aliens and sleeping <laughs> with other aliens and then you do alien stuff it, it, mm-hmm. it is very it's weird it's like the first game is kind of regular star trek with with shooting the second and third one are more like jj abrams star trek Mm-hmm. The there's there's many lens, lens the most lens lens to me. <laughs> it's it's like it's magic but it's magic explained by science wait it's hold like, on Corey. it's, it's weird like how they bring magic, palpatine in at the last magic second in space <laughs> right it's magic in space uh-huh magic in space but it's not star wars yeah it's nope. not, not, magic, magic. not star wars okay star so i'm wars a wee doesn't bit have this much sex in it um <laughs> well i mean anakin had enough but <laughs> <laughs> not to I just want to, I do want to talk about something and not to so much like call you out Jose. Cause I think you definitely, you meant what I'm about to say, even if what you said was more literal. Um, it's when you're saying, um, criticize the art, not the art. You know what? Yeah. I realized that as I was saying, cause obviously there's going to be some scenarios where if, yeah, if someone, if someone creates something that's problematic, even if they don't intend it, yes, you still have to criticize them. And then, yeah. uh, I, I'm pretty sure you and me are on the same train of thought but just just for i feel like what we were discussing that period of time it kind of aligned but i i i know exactly no 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 no. i i i figured that's what you meant and that's why i started the sentence the way i did um i just think there's also there's a good thing to bring up with that uh in general is that um and i guess into what core was saying when he felt like shamed for playing the game it's i i feel there's a there's a line between um criticizing the thing 
jokingly and ribbing and like like my boyfriend busts my chops for being a final fantasy fan all the time and i can't even defend myself um <laughs> but as kingdom kingdom hearts people we are completely he, agreed with he, you well he no he loves kingdom hearts too but he also oh like, no it, it's a whole it's we'll get into that another time maybe i don't want to talk for him <laughs> but but basically what i'm getting at is that like when i approach these situations and i feel like you know if you're actually going to take that step to actually criticize the person for consuming the media or criticize the artist for making the media you have to fit a very specific set of criteria one of those pieces of criteria being you have to really know this person like like jose it's no secret to anyone but like i i've and i don't think you mind me saying this but like i've warned you about people about media about other things like been like hey just so you know I know you're watching this, not giving you shit, but this is something you need to be aware of, or this is a person you follow. And like, when you have these conversations, it needs to be from a place of, I know you, and I can talk to you about this because we know each other well enough. When you're a random motherfucker being like, oh, that shit fucking sucks. Like, I'm not going to give a fuck what you have to say. I'm going to block you or mute you and just not even listen to you. But like, but like um, a, a better example would be I, I'm not going to name names only because it's not even worth like getting into. But like and it wasn't and it actually ended really positively. But someone I was mutuals with, I talked to about like a, a series and I responded to one thing. Then we DM'd each other and we're talking about it. And like if you if you have deep problems with a piece of media it's okay to voice those things, but just keep in mind that who you're attacking or talking to and what the stakes are. That being mm -hmm. said, right. Um, attack on Titan is fucking trash and is Ew. also sort of pro fascist propaganda. That is a fact. I am. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, <laughs> no, there's, there's a lot of anime that is pro imperialistic. There is um, propaganda. Was, yeah. Funny enough, I love how I was scared of that when I started watching Golden Kamui, and then it's actually the exact opposite, but it still has some weird stuff with like some characters. Mm -hmm. But nothing like pro imperialist. It's actually all very like the army and military of Japan fucking suck. Right. <laughs> Well, and anyway, that's, yes. and, and, and I was just going to add something to what you just said, Blaine. And just like, that was literally the difference when, like when getting into civil disputes or arguments online, that is literally the difference between, uh, somebody coming at you or adding you, mm -hmm. uh, who you don't even know and versus somebody that you actually know or who you mutuals with. And like that, that's the difference between mending bridges and burning bridges. No, mm -hmm. literally. you know, it's just, it, and you, I think you handled, you handled both of those situations very maturely so and yeah. there's even ways like you know it's it, there's 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 telling there's ways to even tell people like to be more conscious we, we all need to be more conscious of how we consume media that is it's okay mm -hmm. it's okay to be wrong it's okay to not know it everything is. it's also Just, okay to yeah like, i'm not gonna say it's okay to consume problematic media because that's that's gonna be such a long conversation and mm -hmm. i don't personally believe it's you can be that cut and dry about it that's very reductive um not that not anyone here is, is saying not that anyone here is saying that right but like it, it's just you have to know when to t you have number one you have to be able to enjoy media if you enjoy a piece of media you have to be able to bring up the bad things about it and not pretend they don't exist especially mm -hmm. if like like i'll talk about how much i love near i also won't pretend that that series doesn't have massive problems Atomata mm -hmm. has some weird, like almost show to make stuff I, going on. I was I don't I was know how I feel about it, but the story itself is very good. I'm worried that there's going to be something like that in Replicant that I'm not aware of. I was I thinking about Jurassic and Guard. I was thinking about Jurassic and Guard earlier. Well, where don't I'm think just like, about oh no, 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 oh, no. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. I, I don't remember the characters' names or whatever. It isn't like one of your companions like a pedophile, but he's like yeah. fighting the urges, <laughs> and then he's like yes. acts out it's, on it once in a if while. If I remember correctly, that yeah, it is, and it's like the way it's framed is not like oh, and you need to feel sympathy for him. It's yeah, no, like, like he is and he is a piece person. of shit. Yeah, which is a very seems to be a very Yoko Taro thing like and his and the people that he works with is very like these are awful people or these this is like an awful person etc I don't know but I, I can also credit I don't know it's it, 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 it's complicated it's it is complicated trying to I don't, I don't navigate know if it's painting, these spheres I don't know if it's painting with too wide a brush but 
my rule of thumb, and maybe it's even an oxymoron to say to say that it's to me, I always try to take everything by a case by case basis. I think it's very hard yeah. to absolutely mm-hmm. to, to just, people people try to generalize way too often and they try to throw throw things in a box or throw a blanket over it and say this is what this is and you can't you exactly. can't do that you can't do that mm-hmm. to humans you can't do that online you just think critically use your brain it's a muscle just like everything else so you know I just a thought remembered, uh, <laughs> a turn of phrase that my boyfriend's <laughs> girlfriend had mentioned had uh, she at least she was the first person i heard it and they had both told me this but you got to look at something and be like am i eating a shit sandwich for the bread that's basically how i look at media when i'm like if you're consuming something that has all these problems are you eating a shit sandwich for the bread or are you eating some or are you actually consuming something that is decent uh despite flaws that's like how you have to look at it it's, that's all it's okay and that's not that's not like saying that you can't that's not saying that like we can't watch something for pure popcorn entertainment that's different but if you're watching if you're watching something that literally has problematic themes and you're not realizing those problematic themes and then somebody comes and and brings those themes to your attention you have to be at least somewhat receptive to hearing their side of things Mm -hmm. and and, 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 you know I think it's just like the basis of, uh, I mean, uh, four of us here are film majors and it's just like a lot of stuff out, a lot of media out there is incredibly problematic. And like some of the most, I know this is like the go-to example, me and Blaine are both very avid fans of Gaunt's, but that has so much fucking problematic shit in it. Yeah. And I think, also, I think you also, can still I'm enjoy. Sorry, I don't mean to, be, I don't mean to point you out. You could just say Gantz. You don't have to say Gaunt's. You could say Gantz. No. Uh, it's been driving I'm me crazy. I'm sorry. No, no, I wouldn't even bring it up. I wouldn't even bring it up when you brought up before, like it's, hearing someone on a podcast saying, uh, I'm just like, <laughs> I've been trying to talk to you about it and it never came up. Wait, is sorry. that not how it's pronounced? Mm-hmm. Uh, Gans, I have no is, idea. Gans is like the Japanese pronunciation. It's the word is Gans. You can say it like Gans. It's, it's like how uh, people see that feels wrong to me. Gansu. Also, I just, I just want to uh, say this one thing. Being a decent human being is not being a social, social justice warrior. Mm-hmm. Yes. Period. Uh, Period. Fuck, fuck. What was uh, I going to say? Um, I'm sorry. Shit. I'm sorry. Wait. L- let me search my brain for a second. Um, I-, I lost my train of thought. We need to go to the next oh, news story anyway. I'm so sorry. Do we though? <laughs> yes. Don't worry. I think the next. I think the next train should be arriving in about five minutes. Choo choo. Choo choo. Uh, <laughs> Bio- 